Olympics back there? Uh, yeah, for sure, especially being so early, watch, having to watch so many heats after that. Yeah, so I was a little, little disappointed with the way I executed, so I'm glad to get another shot at it tomorrow. How are you mentally like approaching these championships, seeing as how you had to wait to even get in the mood? Yeah, yeah, uh, so one day at a time, I guess. So, I mean, I wasn't, sorry. <laughs> Wasn't uh, looking past the day at all, so I just really want to focus on they just racing today and then obviously tomorrow just tuning like, you know, survive in advance basically. What's what you your fitness at right now? Uh, I feel good. Um, it's been a long time kind of holding on to fitness post USA's. I took a little downtime to kind of recoup and then uh, been racing a little bit here in Europe, so uh, just getting some things going again. But I mean, I feel fit. I felt a little flat today, but I think. You know, having this one out of the way, I should feel good to go tomorrow. Were you kind of thinking after USA's that you might have a chance with, you know, Brazier being a contender to win the Diamond yeah, Final? Yeah, and uh, we've we talked about it and uh, sort of had that on the, you know, back of our minds and I was really obviously hoping for that, but um, I wanted to just focus on the rest of my season regardless of what happened, so it was just a, kind of a pleasant surprise when it did, obviously. Yeah, this, 200 meters to go, were you worried you weren't really in a great position? Yeah, yeah, I was actually. So I wanted to be out in a little bit better position than that. It was a little forgiving because my heat was only six guys after Amos dropped out. Yeah. So um, once I wasn't in a good position at 200, I was trying to just stay patient. And uh, I was planning on moving up on the back stretch, but everybody in front of me had that same idea. So I got and got stuck waiting, and uh, had a lot left in the home stretch, but didn't really get a chance to, to use it. So that's yeah. why it was a little frustrating. But you know, that's that's part yeah. of racing. But what's going through your mind, like 200 meters to go, and you know, you see those spots are still in front of you for qualifying. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I was thinking, just just stay patient, because if I spin it now. 200 out, I was likely to run wide, so yeah. it's kind of hard knowing knowing it's right there and not being able to go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make sure I fought for every position, and thankfully, you know, getting fourth ended up being the last time qualifier in, so that made all the difference, you know. Yeah. Kind of had the same mentality at USA's and just barely squeaked in, you know, based on uh, the wild card spot, so. Just kind of having that approach to every round, basically. Yeah. Just fight for every spot. What were your expectations coming into the meet? What did you want to come away accomplishing? Um, like I said, I just wanted to take it one day at a time. So coming into this meet was just to get through today. And then now that I've done that, just to reassess and then obviously get through tomorrow. So I think making the final would be you know, a great thing to come away from this meet. But yeah. Did you, yeah. Did you watch the Diamond League final live? Or yes, I did. <laughs> what was your, did you yell, did you scream? Uh, I didn't, I was with um, other people and didn't know all of them, so maybe I didn't show all my emotions that I was feeling, but uh, I was definitely uh, biting my nails there. Um, 600 in when the gap is so wide, but you know, I had faith in Donovan and Clayton. Well, <laughs> what, what about with 100 to go? Were you like, <laughs> 100 to go? I, I felt like Amos is so much showing some signs, you know. I thought maybe <laughs> those guys are out of frame, so I didn't know exactly, but I also knew how fit Donovan was at USA, so I was still holding out hope. Who yeah. were you watching it with? When you did they know what was at stake for you? Yeah, so I was in uh, Leuven doing a kind of a camp between races, okay. uh, so I was watching it with. Some, some American athletes who were over there, some Australians, just yeah. people just, who were hanging around. Other track athletes, though, they, yeah. they knew it was extinct. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, congrats. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks.